So I'm here with Dr. Ronald Mexner of ADS and we're discussing the active defence system here today mounted on the Leopard 2 main battle tank. Uh, Dr. Ronald, what is the ADS designed to do? Well, the ADS is designed to defeat uh, anti-tank rockets and anti-tank guided missiles that are fired upon tanks and armoured vehicles. And how does it do that? Well, actually, it's a distributed system, as we call it. So you can see the countermeasures and the sensors being distributed all over, in this example, the Leopard tank. And it would detect any incoming missile, first of all, by the radar, and then uh, decide uh, how to re react and when to react, and then also by a second sensor to choose the right time to uh, ignite the countermeasure and then by the countermeasure just to destroy the incoming missile. And what differentiates it from other similar hard kill APS systems? Well, first of all, it's not a launcher based system. So we have a, a multi hit capability, we have a so called short multi hit capability. We are able to defeat incoming missiles that have a timely difference of, let's say, uh, around 0.1 seconds and we can also defeat um, uh, threats from uh, simultaneous sites at, uh, simultaneously from uh, different uh, angles and different uh, uh, directions. And I understand that you've uh, conducted some live fire testing, can you tell us a little bit about that please? Oh yes, we have done uh, a lot of live firing testing, so uh, we, up to the moment we have uh, fired at least 850 shots or rounds including RPG-7, for example, Cornet, Milan, Tow against the system. And we need to also uh, to have these live firings in order to um, um, evaluate the system and also be able to fill the threat library inside the system. That's great. So today you've mounted it on the Leopard 2 main battle tank, but what other platforms have you mounted it on? Well, for example, we have one ongoing project with the German Armed Forces for the uh, Boxer vehicle. We have done it for the uh, RG32. We have done it for also for uh, this, this vehicle here, which is uh, just a usual truck. So it doesn't really matter what kind of vehicle, at least as we have some space and some energy to integrate the system. And what are your sort of future development plans? Are there any in the pipeline? Oh, yes, there are. Uh, first of all, we are looking at uh, the defeat of kinetic energy penetrators, which is uh, really a, a big demand in the market. And apart from this, we are currently re-evaluating the system in terms of safety integrity level 3. So this is a very high demand from the German armed forces to make sure the system does exactly what it do, uh, is supposed to do. And uh, so the crew inside the, the vehicle can be sure it's, it's safe and also the infantry dismounted can also be sure the system is only firing if there is a, a threat coming in. So there's a, an issue with potential collateral damage. I understand that ADS is designed to mitigate that. That is absolutely correct. And uh, this is one of the de design uh, uh, paradigms we are using to really reduce the collateral damage. I wouldn't really say it's collateral damage. I would say it's residual en energy. It's only um, if the threat is defeated, you will only have a low order detonation just in, the, uh, in a circle around the vehicle of, let's say, one or two meters and nothing else. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.